12 words written in an email are the prelude to a story filled with pain and joy. She was just a good little girl, you know. Wonderful little baby and was always healthy. She was fat and chubby little girl and just 14 then she became ill and we didn't know what it was. She had gone from a hefty little 13 year old, you know, to very, very thin. And none of us knew what it was or, or what to do. Cindy Antone, simply put, was a gift. Adopted just two days old in a small Pennsylvania town, she grew up to be a loving daughter and sister. We were the best of friends because we were so opposite. She was just a good little soul, I tell you. But when she began her teenage years, Cindy began her battle with Crohn's disease, a painful disease that affected her intestines, a painful disease that kept taking and taking and taking from this young girl until her body gave in when she was 21. Started to be very ill one night, so we took her, our doctors said take her right to Cleveland, her intestines have, have ruptured. Dr. Victor Fazio and his surgical team were waiting for Cindy, and they knew the gravity of her case. Grave situation, I mean, once you got a perforation of the bowel, uh, that carries with it a high mortality rate alone uh, in the neighborhood of 30 to 50 percent. I've never forgotten this. He said, you, you have one sick cookie, and she's not, I don't think she'll make it through the night. But amazingly, she did. And I said, Cindy, it's mom, and the operation's over, and you're getting better, and you're going to be great. And she made this scrunchy little face that she used to do when she was little, when she was upset with something, she'd make this scrunchy little face. And I knew then she was going to be all right. Cindy recovered and went on to graduate college, get her master's degree, get married, and be the best aunt a nephew could ever ask for. He called her Aunt Cindy. You know, she was the type that would buy him everything that I didn't want him to have, let him drink pop, let anything I said no, he'd go across the porch to Aunt Cindy's house. But in between these good times, the reality of her condition was setting in. Cindy's Crohn's disease kept its grip. She had 15 more surgeries, and each time she went to Cleveland Clinic and to Dr. Fazio. And all the family traveled more than 4,000 miles for Cindy. They did this because of the tender care they received. They're nice, clear down from the admittance clerk right through. They're just all nice to you, you know. And that's what you want when you're sick. That's what's important. That's what takes the edge off of it, right? It makes you feel at home. But in the end, it was too much for Cindy. She passed away in October of 2004. It's now five years after Cindy's death. Oh, sure, I miss Cindy. Yeah, I miss Cindy. Mm -hmm. But from great pain comes great joy. The joy of a precious gift from Dr. Fazio that Cindy's family will never forget. Well, he saved her life, really. He saved her life. We got 20 more years with Cynthia. She got to get married. Well, I'd like to thank him for just being such a wonderful doctor and doing the best he could for and pulled her through all those years. I mean, how do you thank a doctor like that? I mean, by gifts, there's no gifts you can give them. Because doctors never, I, I know they realize, but they don't how they help people. You know, no one gets to tell them. So I'm telling you, Dr. Fazio, thank you very much.